Sonnet Perrin is proud of what her family have done around the house. They've turned the water heater's temperature down, removed lights and bought a gas heater, though they rarely use it. Sonnet prefers a jumper. The competition helped us really realise how much money was going into the heating. We've got gas, hot water now, so it, yeah, it spotlighted for us mm. what, what sort of, how much money and, and, you know, greenhouse gases were being pumped out just by our little family. And it's all because of the Climate Club's competition that UTS's Institute of Sustainable Futures, or ISF, started two years ago. The program takes Australians love of sport and competing and applies it to climate change. The basic premise of the project is that if you save a kilowatt hour, you get one point. So the more you save, the more points you get. Four primary schools from each Manly, Marrickville and Blacktown competed for the Climate Club's Cup. Look, I think that they realise that the small things that they do can help which is such an important lesson to learn as a child. You know, so that the, the apathy and the detachment from you know, what I do in the environment is broken. When we were starting, it was kind of like, I thought, oh yay, let's try and do this for our school. And then after a while, I thought, mm, actually, I'll do it for the environment. Tom Bokowski, age nine, and Lucy Scott, age 11, are two of the students who led Camdenville Public School to win the Climate Club's Cup in 2011. We got money for the school, so we've provided more equipment at the back and everything in the community garden. Their efforts led the Marrickville schools to a 10% reduction in energy use in 2010, and then again last year. The ISF have taken the year to review the competition's results and regroup. Moy says climate clubs will be back in 2014, but it will be bigger and better. At the moment we're looking at a university model, so to apply it to UTS, test the university model in UTS, so looking at either faculties competing or students competing. In 2011, Marrickville competitors alone saved 56,000 kilograms of carbon dioxide, but the ISF hopes Sonnet, Tom and Lucy will be part of a statewide primary schools competition by 2014. They want more kids to greet power bills with enthusiasm.